Um, today we're going to talk about scientific notation, and we use scientific notation when we have a number that's very large or very, very small. So we do not have to add so many zeros and to make it more accurate to rewrite the number multiple times. So scientific notation is an alternate way of writing numbers, usually when they're very large or very small. We do not use scientific notation when we're expressing temperature, money, molar mass, or pH. It consists of two parts, the coefficient, which is the number in front, and it should be between 1 and 10. So you cannot have two numbers in front of the decimal. And then our exponent can be any whole number, positive or negative. And that's to the power that it's raised to. So this is our coefficient, and 25 is our exponent. To convert a number to scientific notation, if it's a very large number, we move the decimal to the left. So here's our decimal. We want it between the 6 and the 5. So we move it over 7 spots. So that would be 6.5 times 10 to the 7. Again, if you see a positive exponent, that means that the number was very large or greater than 1. In our sample problem, we want the decimal between the 1 and the 5. Again, it's always going to be behind the first number. So that's going to be 1.59 times 10 to the 1, 2 place. If we're starting with a number less than 1, then we're going to have to move the decimal to the right. Again, we want it between the 9 and the 8 because we want one number in front of the decimal. We move it to the right one, two, three, four, five places. And the negative exponent just represents that it's less than one. Notice that the number is still greater than zero because this is not a negative number. So we get 9.87 times 10 to the negative fifth. In our sample problem, we're trying to move the decimal between the six and the three. So it's going to be 6.34 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. Since it was less than 1, that's negative 3. Can you tell what I forgot on this one? If you said the negative is sign in front, then you are correct. In this case, this number was less than 0 because it had a negative. So we do bring that negative sign down. Go ahead and practice 1 through 8. Restart the video when you have these done. So this one, you should have got 1.76 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. 1.35 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, negative, negative 3. One point zero two times 10 to the 1st. Negative 6.73 times 10 to the first. In this case, I already have the decimal where it should be. So it's always times 10 to the how many places I moved it. I didn't move it, so it's times 10 to the zero. You'd only write it that way if it said convert it to scientific notation. 10 to the 10 to the power of 0 is 1, and so that's the same number as what we have over here. For number 6, it should be negative 1.544 times 10 to the negative 1. 
3.01 times 10 to the second and negative 1.3 times 10 to the negative 4. I'm going to pause the video and try this one on your own. So first of all, this number is greater than 1, so I can eliminate C and D. If you move the decimal 3, 6 places, so the answer is D. I'm going to try this one and restart when you have your answer. In example 2, our answer, or our number is less than 1, so we can eliminate A and D. We move the decimal three spots, so B must be the answer. If we're expanding a number from scientific notation to standard notation, it's the opposite of what we did earlier. So if the exponent is positive, we have to move the decimal back to the right to make that number larger. If the exponent is negative, then that means it is a number less than 1, so we're going to move the decimal to the left to make it smaller. So in this first sample, our exponent is negative, meaning the number should be very small. So it's 0 point something. Always double check when you're expanding it. That was one, two, three, four. So that is correct. In the next sample, we have a positive exponent, which means the number should be a larger number. Obviously, it does have a negative sign, so it is a negative number. But we're going to have to be moving the decimal to the right. And right now, that's one, two, three, four. Nope, not enough. One, two, three, four, five. And that's our final answer. Go ahead and expand these. Restart when you have the answer. So we should get 0 0.0496, 55,000, negative 0 0.0093, negative 83.7, Exponent is zero, so just drop the times 10. Neg um, 0 0.00561. 492. And negative 0.923. Go ahead and try this one. We'll restart when you have an answer. So we do have a positive exponent, which means 3.03 times 10 times 10 times 10 should give us a number larger than 1. And that would be D. 1, 2, 3. And that concludes this video.